Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 1. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 5 of Book 1, which states that if you have an isosceles triangle, which is a triangle that has two sides equal in length, that the interior angles on the base are going to be equal, and if we extend the lines further, sort of like this, then the exterior angles will also be equal to each other. So let's begin. First, let's create our iso isosceles triangle. Start with a point A and draw a circle of any radius. Define two points, B and C and connect the points B and C. And now we have an isosceles triangle where the side, the two sides are equal to R and an angle gamma between those two sides. The interior angles are equal. Now if we extend the line AC and the lines AB, the exterior angles are also equal. So how do we go about proving this? The first thing we're going to do is to define an arbitrary point D along AB and its length will be X. Now using the methods described in Proposition 2, we're going to copy this length BD onto the point C, draw a circle and define a point E such that CE is going to be equal to BD. CE is equal to BD. Now we're going to create a triangle AEB, which has the sides R and R plus X with an angle alpha between the two. Now we'll construct ACD, which also has the sides R, R plus X with the angle gamma between the two of them. According to Proposition 4, if you have a side angle side of two triangles that are equal, then the triangle is equal in all respects, which means that these two lines are equal in length, and we will call them Y. Because they are equivalent triangles, the angles are also equal, so we will label the two angles A, B, and for this triangle, the angle will be alpha, and for this triangle, facing the longer side, will also be delta, sorry, they're both delta. We will also call the smaller angle sigma. So again, we have two triangles that are equivalent because they have a side-angle-side combination that is equivalent. Now let's look at the triangles CEB. It has a side X and a side Y with an angle sigma between the two. Similarly, CBD has a side X, a side Y, and an angle sigma between the two. And again, according to Proposition 4, that means the two triangles are equivalent in all respects, including the angles. So we will label the angle for this triangle, epsilon, which means that angle is also equal to epsilon. And the larger of the two angles will be beta. Sorry, click the wrong thing. Beta. So again, we're looking at two triangles that are equivalent in all respects. So the angles are equal. So we've just demonstrated that the exterior angles on our isosceles triangle are equal. From before we have shown that the larger of the angle of AC, that the larger triangle of ACD was delta and we've also demonstrated that this angle was delta we have the little angle is equal to epsilon. So this angle ACB and ABC, both of them 
are equal to delta minus epsilon. Consequently, they're both equal, and we have demonstrated that these two angles are equal. It's a little bit complicated, but there you have it, folks. We have our angles on the interior are equal, and the angles on the exterior are equal. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.